So, what do you think? Coming from a person who's really honestly not a fan of Indian. <laughs> Way better than Rogue Glide? I don't know, man. I gotta. I'm, I, I need I need time, but it, dude, it's. Welcome back to another video. We got the Challenger out today. Beautiful day out here in dirty Jersey. Blue skies, clear skies. It's partly cloudy. Expecting some rain. So hopefully we, I go out right now and I don't get caught in the rain like I did when I first picked up this bike a few days ago. Um, yeah, I didn't get to try out the bike like I wanted to that day. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Going to go on a ride real quick. Going to go over to my buddy Sal's house real quick because he also wanted to see the bike um and i wanted to get on it i just i was really excited just to get up this morning and get on the bike and try it out all right now the other day when i picked it up uh i had it in rain mode most of the time so i couldn't try it out on standard or sport so we'll get that out of there we'll put it on standard then we'll make our way up and we'll put it on sport um i gotta go gas up as well uh yeah man let's go standard feeling a lot better than rain mode did man rain mode is so tamed but it's so awesome because i mean perfect you're riding in the rain and it tames everything down for you um unlock this gas cap this bike only has 1100 miles on it man barely broken in six gallon gas tank full tank 220 miles we're supposed to be getting out of this Alrighty. I gotta say, like, I woke up this morning with this huge excitement of wanting to get on this bike. I said it the other day before I picked up the bike. I'm like, oh, I've I've haven't been so excited to ride a bike in such a long time. There's just something about this bike that. I don't know, I just I just want to get on it and ride, man. That's all I wanted to do this morning, was just get up and ride. I wish today would have been a day with great weather, sun all day, but it's supposed to pour all day again. But for now, we'll get to test her out in the local area. So yeah, standard feels great. Really quick, let me know how you guys feel about the whole dash right here. I like it. I, I really, really like the setup. I like the fact that the gauges are up here and it's so visible. It's like right in front of me. And the screen is right here. Just this whole setup is really nice, man. Really, really nice. I think we could just go ahead and put it on sport mode now. <laughs> Okay, so right off the bat, you could feel the difference right there. It's so crazy how you go from rain to standard to sport, and you feel such a difference in each and every one. Yeah, you, oh. <laughs> you definitely feel it. And this, look, I'm not, I'm just, I'm cruising right now. I went from one stoplight to another, and I'm going to get it on the road right now, really, really test her out. It's funny because I walk in the garage uh, to show my wife the bike um, and she goes, whoa, like that bike is way bigger than your Rogue Ladder. I'm like, no, they're pretty much the same. Like this bike just seems beefier. Hold on. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. 
clean angle feels good. Yeah, you definitely feel the torque on this bike. Lean angle feels great. But yeah, like I was saying, I, I went to the garage, showed my wife the bike, and she was like, whoa, it looks way bigger than, than your Road Glide. I'm like, that's pretty much the same thing. It just has more of a, of a broadier stance. It just looks beefier. The fairing does look a bit beefier. She gets up there so fast. <laughs> it's insane how fast this bike gets up there. This is a stock bike. Stock. <laughs> oh. Indian definitely knew what they were doing when they built this bike this bike was made to compete with the road glide and they intended on beating the road glides in so many levels when it comes to performance i mean oh my god now we're going to be doing an in-depth review that video should be up in a few days we're going to be doing a comparison video with the road glide gonna be doing a ton of videos with this bike we're gonna be doing some install videos as well now if I didn't mention it before no this is not my bike this is a loaner so huge shout out to Indian for loaning me this bike and I'm gonna have it for quite a while uh, they're even gonna send out some parts for me to do some install videos as well so it's, it's gonna be a lot of cool stuff a lot of cool content man She feels so well planted. I mean, the power is there whenever you need it. And it's just dipping in and out of traffic and the bike feels planted and it feels so light. Now going back to what I was saying before, the bike does seem beefier. It does seem bigger than the Road Glide, but it feels lighter. I don't know how that's possible. Yo, this bike would sound so good with a full exhaust system in it. A nice Fab 28 long pipe on here. Oh my God, with a cam. Bro, this bike would just. I kind of stood up last night, just coming up with different ideas for this bike. I'm like, yo, if this bike was mine, what I would do to it? So many things I would do to it. And I, I came out uh, with, with, with a whole game plan of everything from paint to parts to chopping the, the rear fender just 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 a ton of ton of ideas that I have Even the stock pipe though, it sounds, it has like such a nice and deep throttle to it. <laughs> the 
There's a lot of get up and go on here, man. A lot. And it's so easy to just throw her around. Man, if, if only I could, I could just have a T-bar set up right here right now, man. If only. Because the bars are comfortable right now, but it's just not my style. And it's not the type of style you kind of want to really grind or aggressive in the twisties. Which we're going to do as well. I'm going to take the bike up to Bear Mountain and hit the twisties up there. I was supposed to do that with the FTR, but the FTR came and it went so fast that I just didn't have the time to make the content that I want with it. But this one, plenty of time I'm gonna have. Plenty. Way better than Roll Glide? I don't know, man. I gotta compare it. I'm, I, I, need, I need time, but it, dude, it's. Dude, that thing, stock, is packing a bunch of power, man. Like, it's fun to ride. I came here to change your mind. That 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 was my 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 initial goal today was to come here and change your mind on the Indian Sal. <laughs> this is Sal's CVO right here with a SNS 128 kit. This thing is a monster. Yeah, real smooth. When you drive, when you ride a stock bike, when you, your bike is like work, motor work, work, yeah. whatever, it's so different. Oh, hell yeah. When I, I'm downshifted and I'm expecting the bike to slow down more, it's like, whoa. Right, right, right. But it's cool, though. It's definitely faster. It's, it's faster than that stock. It's fast. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. It absorbs everything. That that's what I like about it. The suspension is amazing. No. Brake. You see you seen the, the brake system in the front? This piece of shit. <laughs> piece of shit. <laughs> so, what do you think? Coming from a person who's really, honestly, not a fan of Indian. You want my honest opinion? Honest, dude. Everything here we do is honest, man. How far for? My road glide. Huh? I still love my road. Glide. Of course. Absolutely. There's some things I don't like, you know. The fit and finish. The styling and stuff, the fit and finish. The way it rides, it rides awesome. Yeah. Can't be, can't deny that. It, it's almost, it doesn't feel like a Harley. It feels like a sport bike almost. Yeah, yeah. Right? Um, little things that you can change. My, my foot kept slipping off the brake because it's like a peg brake. Like oh, okay. Instead of like the bigger pad that the Harley has. Yeah. But that's shit you can change. Um, it handles great. Yeah. So I mean, like swerving and stuff. Like yeah. It handles really good. It feels light. Yeah. Is that the same weight? I, I, I got to look it up. I don't know, but it, it's almost a similar weight, but it feels lighter for some reason, right? It feels way lighter than this. I, this I, thing feels like a ton of bricks. Yeah. And this thing feels like, like you just sit on it. To get it up, it's like, and you flick it around, yeah. That one, I'm like turning my tire this way, like well, that way. Just yeah, I, I don't know what it is, man. It just feels so light. I like it. The I brakes like feel it. great too, right? The brakes are good. It's just, uh, you know, Indian has. If we bought one of these, we probably cam it out or something. Oh hell yeah. You know, dude, I've, I've, really good speed. Th th that, that's what I was talking about. A nice exhaust cam. Paint job, you know, change out a few little things that, you know. So that's where the trickle charger is at. Okay. Um, this one's just. Nothing. That's just that. Yeah, that's just nice. Um, Why is the bike still on? That's what. 
That's so you, weird, right? Nah, so you, you gotta power it off. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's a. Right, so yeah. You really can't say nothing bad about the ride, uh -huh. the power, the handling. Yeah. You can't say anything bad about it. If anything, all those three things I just mentioned are better than that. They are. I'm not gonna lie. Suspension is better from, from Factory than Harley. Power's better. Power's better. And uh, what was the other thing I said? Handling. The handling. It's just. It, it, it's just if if you're not really into the design of it, you're not gonna, you know, go for it. You probably choose the Harley over this because I mean, in all honesty, this 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 looks, it this looks the road glide does look nicer. I don't know. There's just something about the Harley that always drives me to it, and I'm sure it's the same with you. It, it's just. Uh, you, that, that, like I, I know I used to ha I hate on them and this and that. Like when when I started seeing that tank move at Bergen, remember that day? Oh, on the chief. On um, yeah, on the chief. I was like, come on, bro. Like I don't want that on the bike. Like my life's depending on this. And <laughs> this tank is shit. Like on a rubber. Uh, yeah, it's rubber mounted. Yeah. But this one doesn't do that. No, no. But like you said, the fit and finishes like here. This tank is solid on there. It looks good. It doesn't look horrible. Either. Yeah, the engine design is really nice too. Yeah. It, it feels really hot though, right? Maybe that's what this was then, because I, I kept get I thought it was the sun beaming on me. No, no, it's it just and, and it's liquid cooled, so it's you know it's not. Like my, my tire getting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It it does get pretty hot. Well, there you have it. From a hardcore Harley Davidson enthusiast, Sal was a fan of the bike. Now there's a lot of stuff on here that me personally, not a lot. It's a it's just a few little things that I don't like on here which will make a video about that as well but it's very minor stuff and it just basically all comes down to the fit and finish of the parts on the bike but besides that just <laughs> this bike is just fun man anyways i hope you guys have enjoyed today's video if you want to see more content like this more indian challenger content or roguelike content since you're on the channel now Go ahead, subscribe, hit that bell button that's going to notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. And like always, guys, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.